react is all about rendering your component so let's create an hello world component first and before doing that uh, inside our create react app application i'm going to go to the index.js and i'm going to clear out everything from here but just leaving the react and react dom imports so i'm just going to create a new component over here called app so let's just start with the class and i'm going to name this as app which extends react component and i'm just going to fix this space so this app since it is extending react component it has to return something it has to return us a jsx so since this is extending react component it gets a method called render and it inherits this render via constructor and you have to call the method called super again this is optional in case of stateless functional components which we are going to see next so inside this render method i'm going to add a return statement which returns us a jsx element so between this parenthesis inside this return we are writing html but which is actually jsx this jsx gets transpiled into javascript via babel but we don't have to worry about all the babel configuration since we are using create react app and we have created this app component let's say if it's visible the page is entirely empty right now the reason for that is we have created this app component but we never told react where to render that so we are going to render this inside our index.html and over here we have a div with an id root so i'm going to use react dom and it has a method called render and i'm going to render app inside document dot get element by id all right let's see it in action it works the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to render a list of person so i have some data over here i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to store it inside a variable over here called data equals to this big huge array of persons so this each person and we have total of five i'm just going to fold this data and inside this constructor i'm going to have my state again since we are using state we need to have a constructor this dot state of persons so let's just call this as people and people is equal to this data all right so inside our state we have people which is an array of person and over here i'm going to just print hello the name of the first person so i'm going to catch this dot state dot people and i'm going to select the first array and print out the name of the first person that is first name let's see if it works also please note that i am using curly braces inside this jsx which allows me to use javascript expression inside the html which is actually jsx and let's see it in action okay it works the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to create list of all this people inside this array so i'm just going to remove this and just bring back our hello react and i'm going to wrap this inside a div this is another tip if we have to render any element let's say i have different multiple elements i have to wrap them inside one parent element that is a necessity 
so inside this ul i'm going to have another li and i'm going to do this for the rest of the elements of the array all right but this is getting tedious i have to write a lot of duplicated code let's just put them into a react component so above app i'm going to create another class over here called person which again extends react dot component which has a render method this person doesn't have its own state but it receives props from its parent so i'm going to just cut this li and paste it over here inside the return statement since this person is going to receive its data from the prop this is optional in our case because we are not using state but just to show you from where i'm getting this props so i'm getting this props from the constructor so this dot props dot first name all right so to make this work what i have to do is i have to call this person over here so i'm just going to delete all this and i'm going to pass this first name which is on the props over here and i'm just going to pass this variable and let's see if it works all right it works fine but this is kind of tedious we have to do this for each individuals again and again so this is like a repetitive code and we have to do this manually which is pretty bad i'm going to use this array this dot state dot people and i'm going to map that with a new array so this dot state dot people dot map going to basically return a new array and i'm going to map that with a new data which is this one so i'm returning jsx over here inside this array we have this person over here p dot first name i'm also going to add image uri this dot props dot image uri all right everything's looking good react is yelling at me that i should use a unique key property so why it is yelling me is we have different different person so basically inside this array react needs to keep track of this loop so i'm going to pass a key over here and i'm going to tell it that track each person with a unique key that is in our case the id of the person and this error should vanish now since uh, this is a custom component we don't have to always pass this we can omit this and we can simply self close it over here like this also there is still more refactoring remaining what i mean by that is we can convert this react component into a stateless functional component so rather than creating it as a class we can simply just remove everything from here create a new constant variable over here called person and simply return the jsx which we created and this is called a stateless functional component all right so it is it is asking me for this properties which is being passed from this arguments over here okay now you might be wondering what is the state and props the single biggest difference between state is state can be mutated means state values can be changed but props cannot be changed i'll show you an example now uh, let's say if i have to delete one person from this list so let's just add one more button over here and on clicking on this button i want to delete this person so what we can do is i'm going to pass another property over here called handle delete and this is going to be a function 
which I'm going to create inside this app class and I'm just going to say handle delete which receives an event this event is basically going to be the data let's pass an ID create another constant over here I'm just going to call it as new people which is this dot state dot people so we have cloned this people we are not mutating this data but rather returning it in new array of people all right so we have to delete our one particular person from this people simply first of all I have to find the index of that person so let's just simply find that using find index so new people dot find index we have all these people over here p dot id if it is equal to equal to this person's id so which is something like this person dot id we have the id of that person inside this array so i think we can simply pass an id over here and just call this like this so new people dot splice and i'm going to splice it at this index and i'm going to remove only one element which modifies the splice modifies the original array and now i'm going to set the state so i'm going to override the people now with the new people so this dot set state so since we are inside extending react component we get a method called this dot set state and i'm going to set state for people with the new people all right so to call this function we simply have to pass it over here this dot handle delete and which is being passed inside person as handle delete so on the buttons on click event we have to call props dot handle delete but we have to execute it like this if i just simply pass it directly over here it will get executed right away even before clicking on this on click since parenthesis will execute this function so we are going to return a new anonymous function over here and i'm going to pass props.id and if i click on delete okay i'm getting an error the error is caused say it says cannot read property people of undefined let's put a debug over here click on delete now if you notice this id is undefined that's weird even the this is undefined so what is happening over here is as soon as i trigger this on click it is running this function which is going over here then it's basically it's losing its context so the this of this is being passed as if it's inside this on click it is losing its this context so simply what we have to do is we have to say bind this so that it won't lose its context inside this handle delete when i call this handle delete inside the person the context of this over here this function basically as if i'm calling this function over here like this so this becomes the context of the person which i don't want that's why i'm telling bind this inside this function to the context of this or right, let's see if it's working okay the id is coming still as undefined i think you probably noticed this uh, before i'm calling this props.id but we never pass the id over here 
So simply I'm just going to uh, pass an ID over here. So it is p.id. All right, it's, it's working, it's deleting. So that's the main difference between state and a prop. You cannot modify the props, but you can modify the state. There are a few more refactoring things that we can do over here. So rather than passing this person like this, you can simply spread the P like this. But the first name property won't work over here because when you spread is basically ID, first name and image URI are being passed to the props. So of course we have to change this first name to the first underscore name and it should work fine. A few more things which, which we can do over here since this person stateless functional component is just returning us a JSX we can simply omit this curly braces over here and simply return the JSX and it will still work fine. 